I what? Didn't know. There it is. What happened? Hello. Hello. Are we live right now. It's Monday. Monday. Is it? It's Monday. It's I was, Monday. I thought it was Tuesday. It's Monday the seventh. The seventh. Are you attached to Lucky at all? So like, does luck mean something to you? Uh, sure. Like the like, oh, oh, I need to knock on wood. I need to. What, what I mean, do I do that, but I don't really think about it much. So like, on a day, so it is seventh. Yeah. I mean that it's. I assume the thirteenth is coming because it says it comes after the seventh. Yeah. So what? Do you avoid the thirteenth and, the, and enjoy the seventh? Are they meaningful enough? To Not like, at oh all. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Not at all. I kind of just look up one day and I'm like, oh, it's Friday the thirteenth. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There's a great movie called Saturday the 14th. Is it Friday the 13th this Friday? I wonder. Well, no. 5 plus no, 7 would be not. 12. No, it's not. Or is it 11th? It's the 11th, yeah. It's the 11th. It's the 11th. Sunday the 13th. <laughs> Sounds ominous. No, it doesn't. Not at all. What if God was having an unlucky day? <laughs> That's a good point. I was going to rest, and it all went point. bad. <laughs> I swear I never told him. <laughs> anyway. Sunday the 13th is coming, just saying. Yeah, it's Judgment Day. <laughs> it's Judgment Day. What'd you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Uh, I'm interested in this story. What'd you do this weekend? Um, Laid around, watched movies. I made a beat once. It was cool. It was cool. That's yeah. it? Yeah, I, try, I tried to make a beat for, for Danger. Oh, for the, yeah, the, the yeah. really angry song that I have, I try to make a beat. For danger, that. danger. Didn't work out. You're but in I'll, the way I'll, of my I'll, anger. I'll do it again. Danger, danger, danger. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson. I always think every time you say danger, I think of danger Robbie Will the Robot Robinson. from Lost in Space. Mm -hmm. And he's waving his arms around, going, "Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger." I don't remember much from that show. That's okay. Like, I don't remember if it's funny or, like, scary or, like, just interesting. I was dramatically vocal and moving anyway so that, that the audience has already been delighted by my, right? my silliness. I so we can move on. Okay. We don't need to cover the robot anymore. Okay. Was the robot lucky, though? Probably. <laughs> my it was favorite written character. in his code. Which, what's your favorite character in the second... Um, Deadpool movie? Domino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot her name. I was about Domino's to say Lucky. Like, I was about to say Lucky because that's her power. Right. But I, I, yeah, Domino. If if luck yeah. was a superpower, if like yeah. on this Devin somehow a lucky spider bit me, and what bites? Isn't you? isn't Gambit what? supposed to be uh lucky too or something? Like doesn't his powers have something to do with luck? I don't know. I don't the know guy Gambit with the cards, luck. right? He throws cards at people. Yeah, the X-Men guy with the cards. He's, he has something to do with I don't think they go into detail. That's the problem with X-Men. I don't yeah, know. He throws cards at people. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a Bill Murray trick. <laughs> he, tried, he taught Andy McDowell how to throw cards. In yeah. Groundhog's Day. Yeah, she forgot it the Well, that day. just keeps coming back and repeating, doesn't it? Yeah. Damn, we're back at anyways. <laughs> it's Groundhog's Day error, all over error, again. Error, 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 error. I can't say error correctly. Okay, I love Mondays because on Mondays I get to talk about like the weekend and we get to talk about what all went happen. I, mm -hmm. on the other hand, I didn't make any beats. Mm -hmm. I didn't beat anybody either, so that's probably a good thing. I didn't. No beatings? No. Okay, just A beat. Yes. Is that like a thump? Or how does A beat go? Bump. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Well, but. Something like that. If you ever think about that, it's singular. A beat. So you made a beat? Yeah, it goes. Bong. What is it, a gong? Did I use a gong? Doesn't matter, it's just one beat. I made it's you a beat. beat. <laughs> okay. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a weird weekend. Okay. I ended up all over the world. Okay. Like, I've been talking to people, I've been making friends, you know what I mean? I've been out there doing my my thing and yeah. being all charismatic. Okay, I haven't gone outside the cave. This was all on the internet, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, I... I I didn't actually go to Vietnam. I'm going to claim I went to Vietnam in a minute, That's but funny. I didn't go to Vietnam or India or Russia for that matter. Okay, so tell us about these places you went to. Oh, my God. So Friday night, I get an invitation to an advanced Buddhism class in Ho Chi Minh City mm -hmm. for Sunday morning. I'm like, oh, my God. I, I text my mom, and I'm like, am I in way over my head? And, right. And it 
was really cool. I mean, it was a, a teaching on Om, Padme, Mane, Om, the six syllables that will, you know, grant you enlightenment if okay. you want to use mantras. Um, and it was really interesting. And I'll be honest, I was, just, I was blown away. I was in Vietnam. I was nervous. It's like, oh, is my camera going to be good enough? You know what I mean? Are these people all going to be like these advanced Buddhists, you know, right, right, really, right, right. really good electronic really really setup? Because, I mean, yeah. we all think you know, advanced Buddhists, obviously, high-end electronics. <laughs> right. I don't know what I was thinking. Those go hand in hand, definitely. I, absolutely. Yeah, you can of picture course. it. You know, like when you, when you say, oh, I picture a temple in some Southeast Asian country, you always picture like a giant satellite dish. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a little silly. I was in my head. Uh-huh. Oh, but it was it, it, she. She spoke um, mm -hmm. for over an hour. <laughs> she really did. Mm -hmm. Um, and the repetitive nature was very meditative. 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 Yes, meditative. that's the word, right? Meditative. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Meditative. It always feels like that when you say it, though. Meditative. 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 Yeah, just say meditative and call it. It's a day. not meditative. It's meditative. 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 Meditative? Tiff from the I meta just, universe? I may just be making up. I, I don't may know. just be making up words. So, afterwards, so part of my day in the world of Studio 586B is doing my social media work. Okay. Um, now, I've made it a game. I go looking for things I actually that make me chuckle or give me wisdom, or yeah. I only I meditate on them and I share that. I know yeah. I'm getting a little meditating today. Sorry. <laughs> a lot of meditation this weekend. A lot of really good meditation. A lot of, a lot of like, uh... So, I end up talking to people all over the world constantly. But there's mm -hmm. this, this woman that does these amazing paintings mm -hmm. in Russia. They look like stained glass. I mean, and she talks... She, we were, I talked to her briefly about how she came up with her own style, and yeah, that that was... She loves that that part. Right. I, I'd love her to come and... I. If, if she suddenly one day said, oh, I'd love to paint you guys a picture, I'd be like, <gasps> I, I'm sharing her stuff everywhere so that she'll be famous because it's just beautiful. It's just right, right. amazing. And I'm, I'm going into all of these things without any expectations. Uh -huh. I don't have any desire to... There, I didn't go into... like I started trying to figure out a way to make social media work for me, not in the sense of for the business, uh -huh. but for the sense of my sanity. Mm -hmm. When we first took that back on, and we're like, okay, we've got to do this stuff to promote. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I hate Facebook. There's a grinding it out piece, because I, I really, I really, like, dislike. Every time I open up Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or anything, oh I God, literally, God. I get so bored. We were hiding. We were hiding? So sorry, guys. Oh, snap. I, oh I, I, was, I didn't even catch that. I was oh, so wow. paying attention it's to okay. else. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't even... I didn't even. I did. Is it up now? I did. I'll okay. Honest, I did. I did. Okay, we're up now. We're um. Up now. I'm, so I'm, I'm basically, every time, every time, like I open some type of social media, I literally like I get so bored, cause I'm like, I have to like I have to like look for content that I like, cause otherwise I'm gonna be bored, all day, like, and I'm just gonna be scrolling through this like a zombie, and I'm just gonna be liking stuff, and I'm like, okay, this is. I, it is what it is, I guess. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know how to take this, really. Well, the, so for me, I had to find, it, it, okay, I, I shouldn't even say it that way, because that's not what happened. What happened was, I was, I, I, I belong to some groups, and I, I see some stuff regularly about stuff I agree with, compassion, yada yada, all of that. Mm -hmm. Quantum physics, good art. I went looking for things that were meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to worrying about whether everything was original content, A, I don't, I don't like to take people's content. I mean, in the sense of sharing other people's content. That the biggest point was, oh God, this sounds so... That, you know what, as long, that keeping content up, that your story has active things on it, and most of it's other stuff, but in the midst are a few things that are specifically yours. Yeah, I've, I've done the bare minimum in the past, like, week, which is I've constantly posted on my story. I don't think I've posted anything on Instagram in, like, a couple days. And I, 
I'm I'm supposed to be posting something at least like every day, but I get so tired of like scrolling through just to find ideas of things to do. Like yeah. I get so tired of it. Well, it's work. You're hoping to get lucky. Yeah. You're you're hoping to find something. I'm hoping to find something that piques my interest that I'm like, okay, I can make something out of this or piques my creativity where I'm like, okay, I hear this sound and I'm like, oh, I got an idea. And then well, I record it, post it, and then hope that it blows up. Hope that it blows up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, because I... The reality is that I care about all those people out there. I love the stuff. I, I really have been... I have managed to find almost... I know I told you about this. I was sharing this with a friend on a group about meditation. Mm -hmm. And for me, the social media has become a meditation. Mm -hmm. That I had to find a place where I was doing it for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so that it was meaningful. And what I did was once that I was sharing these things I'd found, mm -hmm. and that felt good. Yeah. And then the fact, and you you know it like blew up. I then I was go looking at you going, okay, there's there's a hundred reactions on that post, and I'm mm -hmm. like looking at you going, just past like four hundred, and then mm -hmm. like man, I'm I've I've got posts with over a thousand reactions. I mean that's clicks. That's yeah. not even. Don't get me wrong. Oh, stop. <laughs> right, right. But the interesting thing is it's opened up like-minded people to reaching out to me. Mm -hmm. That I didn't, there was no expectation. Mm -hmm. I wasn't building my, my following or my Facebook. And I mean, it's, for those of you who have seen the numbers, it's not like they're impressive or something at the moment. Mm -hmm. But they have grown. But not on a, I have to grow. Like, when I went at it as, there was a time years ago that I went, I've got it. I'm going to get this many followers. Mm -hmm. I didn't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Nowhere. I mean, my daughter shared it and I got all of her friends. You know, um, but other than that, it, it was unsuccessful. But meanwhile, this thing that I'm doing where I'm present, mm -hmm. I'm just being present for these people just like I, I try to be for everybody. You know, um, God, okay. I'm going to share another story. I hope my mom doesn't mind. Because it was like the most delightful. It was, I was so delighted and filled with joy. And it was like a, an energizing, it just felt great. We were on, so we were on one of these groups and somebody asked for some help. And it, it wasn't help that I specifically had an answer to. And I, I just met them where they were. And, you know, I, I said my namaste thing, you know, that, that mm -hmm. I see you and I see your struggle. And I know struggle is universal. And I, and I, I honor the struggle. Not not just the soul, but the fact that it's hard. Right. But I said that, you know, I was very fortunate. I had grown up with meditation as part of my life as a thought. Mm -hmm. Not as a, oh, my God, you need to meditate, but as a thought. Right. And so I, I, I may have mentioned that the person that, that gave me that was my mom. Mm-hmm. Um, who I will actually, we're going to be taking a mindfulness class coming up here just soon from. But you know, she showed up and helped the person. So it was like, it felt like we were superheroes, <laughs> like on the internet, like somewhere out there in the world, like somebody needed us. And we were like, yeah. dun, dun, dun. I mean, no ego. Not like, oh my God, I know I, I'm not saying I can fix people or anything. It was just that the shared moment with my mom that I kind of like paged my mom and my mom mm -hmm. showed up. And I've always found, I've always wow. found that social media is like, people try to portray it as this negative thing. And it's not always that when it's, it's. It's whatever you make it to be. and yeah. Hammers build houses if you don't hit your head with them. Yes. That, it, it, it's, a, it's a tool. Yes. That I, and I've made a lot of remarks like that lately. But I think yeah. part of the problem is that we need to realize that we are in one of the greatest moments of human history. Mm -hmm. I know. There's a lot of other stuff going on, too. But for the first time in our life, we can talk to each other. Mm -hmm. The whole concept behind the studio behind the nonprofit organization mm -hmm. and not a single studio, but a network is the concept that people are controlling our conversation. Mm -hmm. And the way we get over the fact we don't know each other mm -hmm. is we get to know each other. Mm -hmm. That everybody, it ends up the voices are pretty consistent across the board. We're all just hoping to get lucky, though. Yeah, pretty much. But in the end, we make our own luck and... So I'm here mm -hmm. trying to do this. I'm glad you, I'm really glad you're like positive about this because like my head, I, I'm, I'm like the, the negativity in my head about like social media is like is like fighting me 
Cause like I'm trying, I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm trying to take more joy in doing it and like sitting down and doing it because I know that's the only way that I'm actually gonna gonna do it and and actually get done what needs to get done. But like it's so I don't know like it's weird because I almost feel like society has built up this hate on social media that now I kind of I'm I'm kind of beginning to hate social media even though like there there is a positive aspect to okay i can go talk to this person that i've never met in my entire life and no one that i know knows this person like i can go t- i can i can go speak to people that literally live on the other side of the earth right like that just that in and of itself is crazy well it was like the other day where it wasn't an ego thing it was just you, you saw me man i was bubbling just yeah. it, it was just a friend that yeah. shared my book in Japan. It didn't go anywhere. Nobody's like, people are, and now my book is a bestseller in Japan. And by the way, I'm retiring. My jet will be here to pick me up <laughs> later. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the radio. We're here to talk to you today about, oh, yeah, no, that, that part isn't going on. Right. Um, But it was just that, yeah, that realization, yeah. that energy of, wait a minute. Okay, so Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. I do this thing where every, everybody argues over paths and religions and what faith. And yeah. for those of you that know me, I'm not particularly attached to any of them. I think there's wisdom everywhere. So I was having this conversation with, okay, smiling Buddha, ocean's brightness. Smiling Buddha, ocean's brightness. Where are you going? I'm just this? translating his name, brother. Wait, what? I'm a, see, I, we'll have him on. So we'll his name, what, what language was it? Uh, probably somewhere in the Sanskrit, but written in the English. Okay. That, um, okay. he's just, this, it's the guy, if, you, if you've ever, if you've ever looked at my Facebook feed, mm-hmm. I'm looking at you out there because I'm not looking at people that haven't. I'm going to look <laughs> out here where people have looked at my Facebook feed. <laughs> and the picture of the guy that just is glowing Gosh. from ear to ear, I mean, he just... You know why he's called Smiling Buddha. You know why that was his name, his name when he came in. Yeah, yeah. It was Ocean's Brightness was his first ordination, and then when he became a full monk, he became yeah. Smiling Buddha, Buddha Ocean's Brightness. I, I think I got that right. I think. Okay. Um, we were So I said to him, we were talking about, we very much are of the belief that there are as many paths as there are people. Right. That you can't gate gatekeep paths or how people get there, whether it's they prefer this faith or that faith, however they find compassion and light in their world. Right. We're kind of both on this. And so I said, well, yeah, I like to use GPS to describe it to people that now in a modern world, no matter where you're going, it gives you directions to get there from where you are from. That's directions from yeah. not where you are from are not good directions. Yeah. Because, yeah. And so that's a good analogy, actually. The, so the best that's is his funny. response back is, you know what? I say the same thing. Really? And I, we were laughing and we're talking and we're and it dawned like I realize I'm in the middle of this deeply meaningful meditation mm-hmm. that there is a warmth inside of me that I am focused. This mm-hmm. is my focus. There's no other thoughts. Right. That I'm 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 oh, my God, belly laughing as we're. And it was it was just interesting pieces and discussing our yeah our relative thought yeah dude Sunday morning I was sharing a good chuckle with a monk on his pilgrimage to the holy sites in India not like he flew to India but like he's lived there his entire life and he's a monk mm-hmm. and it ends up I didn't know there were monks in India there are a lot of monks in India. Okay. A lot of monks in India. Yeah. India. It was the split was Hinduism and Islam, and Hinduism has monks too. But this is a Buddhist monk. Okay. Like Buddhist monks too. Um, because Nepal is the birthplace of the Buddha, if I'm getting it right. Right. Um. Is... But just the concept. Nepal is where now Mount Everest is, right? I. You're getting in deeper than I. I'm can not go. sure. Okay. The the but. The I so I I had. People will notice I post a lot that I think there's a lot of wisdom in a laughing dog. Because <laughs> it makes me laugh. And I think one of the most holy, and I use holy, not in a holy way, sorry. One of the greatest ways, one of the deepest meditations you end mm-hmm. up in randomly. Because we don't think about the random meditation, and mm-hmm. I'm kind of obsessed with it. 
oh my god that belly laugh mm -hmm. if you get that moment like sometimes and sometimes if you watch us you'll get some if we're doing it right right some days um i don't know it's monday i'm not quite as high strong or not high strong as silly as i am i'm not as on today but that's okay well that's isn't that your whole persona i thought that was your job over there i'm on i'm on, and, I'm on and you're 18 i misfire a couple days that's fine <laughs> this, is a, just... this is definitely a misfire day for me i'm, I'm... no nah, you're in you're in you're fine you're just adding your thoughts you're yeah. good that the reality is so the concept that whether it was sharing a moment with my mom helping someone or t you know sharing a laugh with somebody in india or mm -hmm. sharing a laugh with somebody in japan or russia or that's how we change the world mm. that right there mm -hmm. that it's peanuts man the way you deal with peanut allergies you give your goddamn kids peanuts I, I, once they get to know peanuts they like them i, I mean how can I you would, hate charlie brown i would brown? say you be a little like like strategic about that like don't just no man you just pop them in their mouth no no that's a bad idea that's that's a bad idea. We, we, there's, I think there might be some cleaning think, up of the DNA pool. That's I all. I think, <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> I what don't are feel you that talking way. about? I don't feel that way. First off, there's a medical means by which they deal with peanut allergies. <laughs> I was allergies, about to say, like, and it's it's actually a slow, but it is yes, based on. There's a build up to it. Well, but <laughs> what one peanut, man? What kid can't eat one peanut? You don't just hold somebody underwater so that they can learn how to breathe, so that underwater? they can learn how if to you hold their hold breath. Somebody underwater? Can you teach them how to breathe underwater? No, I just mean you can't. You can't just hold somebody underwater and expect them to Maybe learn how to hold their breath. Maybe we're looking for superheroes, Ron. What if we hold every kid underwater till we find the ones that can breathe? Hold every kid under what? <laughs> underwater. <laughs> that's horrible. Like that. That's terrible. <laughs> That doesn't, no, that's not how evolution needs to continue. <laughs> that's not how, no, no. How'd you end up with gill people? We just kept drowning the kids till we found one. No, <laughs> no, that's, no. Oh. You're speaking like a Spartan. I'm speaking like a Spartan. No. Oh, we are no. Sparta. No. No. They had kids, they and then kicked he, kids and then off it, mountains, man. They yeah, were okay. crazy. The, yeah, and they were doing that. But meanwhile, then the next dude shows up, claims he's a prince. You see how screwed up he was? How'd they let him live? Who? Anyways, we'll get to 300 later. <laughs> but my point is, I, I don't think of it as lucky. Uh -huh. Fortuitous, apropos, uh, I find things in the moment. You know, clip flowers, mm -hmm. gather fruit. That there's no expectation of these moments. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for them. Mm. But I'm open to them. That when I stop defining my day, mm -hmm. man, this has been a bad day. Mm -hmm. And what instead I look for is the flowers and the fruits. Because mm -hmm. there's going to be weeds. There's it's you got to get through it. Mm-hmm. If what you're open to is noticing the other pieces, it's endless. I kind of, I, I try to notice and move on. That, that you know, once, once I understood I was the master of nothing, the world was my teacher. I feel like, I feel like I try to, I try to notice the positive stuff and then move on from it. And then I also try to notice the negative stuff and just move on from it. Like when I got to, when I got to do something I don't want to do, I'm like, okay. Cool. I, I don't really want to do that, but I'm gonna have to do it. All right. Cool. Let's let's keep it going. My daughter has pointed out that no, that was actually how I taught her how to swim. But yeah, it was. No, that's no. <laughs> she, yes. But she reminded me that you got to blow. In no, their the face. funny part. You blow in their face so they hold the breath. The funny part is, I think it's in the first in the first month of a child's life you're supposed to throw them in the water, because they're used to swimming in amniotic fluid see i was right they're used to swimming in right children children are used to swimming in amniotic fluid i think it's either it's it's like in the first two weeks or something I, but if I, you do it past that they won't figure it out and they'll drown no um they figure it out um, no i'm I, saying I, i'm saying there's like a certain cutoff where if you do it past a certain amount of time after they were born they won't figure it out and they'll drown and now my story about teaching my daughter as a baby how to swim in a class at the okay. ymca <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, um, six months works okay. fine. The, the okay. trick is when they're so the when you dunk them, you blow in their face and they automatically hold their breath. They go on and they come up giggling. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know how long the amount of time was. Um, you'd be amazed. Yeah. 
you'd, yeah. you'd be amazed. It's that we're built to swim. Okay. Um, to some extent or another. Yeah. We, we know that when we get pushed under, we hold our breath automatically. It's like mm-hmm. if if you're planning on killing yourself, the worst idea is to try to try and hold your breath. Yeah. Well, that, no, same. Just... It's the same kind of thing. There's a there's a reaction that is once you pass out, you're gonna breathe. Right. Stick you underwater. Yeah. Give you a warning. You go. Pff. Yes. And Echo was oh my god, that was such a delightful time in my life. Why? Oh my god, spent one. I think it was a day a week. Go to the pool. Oh. Get in with your baby. You okay. know, and she'd float. And she was she was cute back then. Mm-hmm. And nowhere near as mean as she is now. <laughs> I love you, Echo. I'm sorry. That's so terrible. <laughs> I just really I was like back then, dang. I, you know what? My daughter is amazing. Those of you who see her out and about working on our social media, Echo Hayes. Um I I am the jerk that is like, nope, we're running a nonprofit organization, and I have perfected not for profit. Trust me, there is not a profit. Um, <laughs> and we were joking the other day of I don't feel comfortable asking anybody for money. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe in the idea that in my head what I'm I'm sharing with with everybody is my thoughts. No matter how many times I do it, no matter how many shows I'm doing it on, that's not something I want to charge for. That's something I want to share. I don't like buying or selling. I just want to give. No. So my daughter laughs when I tell her this and says, don't worry, I don't mind asking people for money. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? That's a valid That's point. Funny. No, I I had Growing I had up. someone offer me money and I, I got really embarrassed and I was like, no, that's okay. Thank you. I don't, it, it was, no, it was me personally. It wasn't like, no, no, no. It wasn't like, it wasn't like the studio. If, if they were asking to offer, like offering for money for the studio, I would have been like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, yes, please. But I get that it was it was it was me personally, and I felt like I felt embarrassed by it, and I was like I was like N- I no I'm okay thank you. Shoot, we wrote you off this year. Really? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, it's not wrote you off like in on our taxes that we we oh, okay. that remember okay. that we okay. it's like yeah we're a group here we're a real community yes that you know what we're figuring it out figuring it out right making it happen. I don't know what we're making happen. Some of it's luck, some of it's not. Well, I, th- I think the maybe hard part I is don't know. If, Who knows? If... I think you can't be attached to that. <clears throat> I think you can call stuff lucky if you want, mm. but then it, the problem with thinking you're lucky is then you're unlucky. Yeah. Once you define definitely. lucky, unlucky exists. Yes. If you don't buy into lucky, there's no unlucky. Yeah. The, if you follow me, that if you define things as one thing or another, you have to. If you make I, a coin, I, it has I never two sides. really called it luck i as much as like i kind of just considered it like oh things are just happening like things are happening to happen the way that like not not the way that i wanted them to happen but like they're happening to be good the way that things are happening i guess i don't know if that makes any sense at all are we having sound issues out there folks uh my mom was just saying that maybe she couldn't hear anything and that was concerning I'm not sure. I mean, I show back to the screen. What the hell? Uh, check the OBS. The OBS doesn't have any control of that. The sa- yeah, they well, it has. Yeah, I've a... got full sound here. Da da da. See, I got yeah, a nice. It yeah, goes it's up. Coming up. It, it goes up. I don't hearing? know. I'm not Are sure. You good in your, your yeah, cast? I can. I can hear. Um, um, I can hear the um, monitor um, and everything, um, but I'm not sure. I didn't. Somebody give me an answer that I can see. That's Someone give problem. me an answer. I just want an answer. How do things sound? Echo, 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 echo. Did that fix anything? Echo. Press the button. I don't know if that fixed anything. Press the button? Yeah, I I, I turned on the, the power thing. The There was a... There's a a phantom power button. These mics don't need it, but it might. I don't know. It might change the sound or something. I don't know. I think they do need phantom power, actually. Both of these no, are XLR. No, the the uh that one needs phantom power. The condenser mic. I can't remember. So, can you hear me now? 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 So the point is. That when you, you like, I have the problem if I go out there with an expectation, mm. that means there's the chance of not having the expectation met. 
if I don't have an expectation, there's no unlucky. Mm -hmm. That if I negate lucky, which is really the belief that I can, it's really looking ahead and hoping. I, I defining I, an outcome. I personally think it's irrelevant which way you look at it because either way, positive and negative things are gonna happen. You're getting no sound, bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Are you on? You can hear it. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mama bear, mama bear. Shout out to mama bear. There may be a button. I've got some people checking it on this end, and it looks like we have sound. I am looking directly into the camera at you, Mom. A wonderful <laughs> mother that you are, who I am delighted to have. Sometimes had Facebook, the sometimes Facebook automatically mutes things. Yeah, I know. Like for so some reason, play, for mute. some reason, when you go to play, it starts off as mute. Like I don't, I don't know why Facebook does that. It's kind of not smart. I well, don't... it's a setting actually. You can set up to auto oh, play really? or to push buttons. And the reason you turn off auto play is because it, it eats your CPU. Because as you're going through the scroll. It means it auto plays everything with oh, sound, and it just it, yeah, you 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 eat it up, hmm. and then it saves a ton of garbage because it's got to play it all. It's just right. the, the social media. Okay, but if I believed in lucky, I've been very lucky. I've been fortunate in I, so I many still, ways. I still like. I don't know that I could take a stance on that because it's like. I've been lucky in some places, but in some places I've been very unlucky. So it's like, I don't well, even I, know what to make think, of that. Well, and that's why I think it's an illusion. Mm -hmm. We shall see. That I'm going to tell a quick story just for the hell of it. It's the story of the old farmer. Did I tell this one on air before or not? I believe so, yeah. Well, we won't tell it again then. The point is that... You have to live with a we shall see attitude. Just because you think something is lucky today, that could be the piece that becomes unlucky. That was what, when you look back on your life, you can see these moments that mm -hmm. you described one way or another that brought you here. Mm -hmm. Are you lucky that you're here? Maybe. So know. those things were lucky. I don't know. Even the worst luck you had brought you here i mean like i lived the life i lived i can't really i make the evaluate life I, I can't well, no, but i can't I, make okay. evaluations on on like which one was the best life i'm i'm not like jared leto in that one movie you know i can't just choose which life i, I lived you know no no I, my point is you're not yeah, yeah all you can do is be here you're right exactly but, but my point is that we get lost in a defining whether or not we thought something was good or bad, and it may totally change over a lifetime. Yes, this is the true. The pieces you thought were good may take you to a bad place. The people, things you thought were bad might be the answers that lead to you meeting the right people or getting to the... You understand know, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, the, today's the 7th, and it doesn't really matter. It's also... the still Chinese New Year. We're still celebrating the whole tiger thing. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. That's considered lucky. But in the end, every day's a good day if you take notice. <laughs> I saw this I saw this meme that <laughs> the Chinese New Year started uh -huh. on the same day that Black History Month started. Right. And someone posted a picture of Rush Hour. <laughs> and I could Man, I lost so, it. That's so inappropriate. I lost that's it. Tort I'm sorry. You know what? Everybody knows that if you're so celebrating Blasian history, you put up a picture of Tiger Woods. <laughs> the, the the that if 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 you're going to don't get me wrong, I love the coming together of Rush Hour, but 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 to, true Blasian glory has got to be Tiger Woods, right? Isn't Tiger, Tiger Woods, Woods the ah ah of Blasianness? I didn't even know he was Blasian. No, you didn't know he. No, you got Rush Hour, but you don't get Tiger Woods. So disappointed. Tiger Woods was on TV for he bad stuff when I was a kid. He originated the concept of Blasian. Tiger Not Woods. Not that Asians and Tiger people Woods of color was had on... never had children before, but people started for some reason calling him that. I would never. It just cracks me up that. Yeah, Rush I just Hour. I don't know. You know what? That would be. Maybe we should watch Rush Hour <laughs> yes, for Black yes. History Month. Yes. Definitely. And to celebrate the new year. Yes. Little Chris Tucker. That's the way to go. Chris Tucker's been lucky. Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. 
Chris Tucker had been like, I retired. All I'm doing is, you need another Rush Hour movie? Give me a call. Give me $10 million. I'll show up. Right? That's all he does. He doesn't right? do anything else anymore. He's done a, a, He doesn't, no. I think he's done anything since three, and they've made like five of them now. Mm-hmm. Hey, I would give but Jackie Chan all day long. Yeah. Jackie Chan, lucky? Lucky? Nah, he worked really hard. So if you work really hard, it's not luck. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Like, if things happen very, very fast, okay, there's a little bit more credence to the idea that it was a little bit more luck based. But if it was a if it was a long and slow process to get to where you got, there's a little bit more. There was a little bit more work involved. So, like, if there's struggle involved, it's not luck. Well, that the hard part about that is that there's always struggle involved. It's just. Oh, wait a minute. So nobody's I, lucky. I well, maybe. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's 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 I don't know. There's a little bit of both. There's a little bit of both. Like there's a little bit of like some things came to you easy, whereas other pe to other pe so some things so for like you life. were lucky. So like life. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> some things for you were lucky, and some things for you were hard work. So it's a little bit of both. Okay. That we need some good fortune. Yes. That it's nice. So that. When we talk about my weekend, we talk about, wow, you know, I stumbled into these things. Mm -hmm. So, I see lucky just means what about getting lucky next week? Like if I'm if I was lucky this week. See, it's easier to attach yourself to the idea that you need to work hard no matter what. Oh, that's that's an easier idea to attach yourself to just because of the fact that the lucky thing, the quote unquote lucky things or the things that are going to happen quickly are gonna happen no matter what. So if you always work hard, when those things come, you're gonna be ready. Yeah, there's something to be said. So, throw away the whole luck thing, right? Isn't that kind of what you're saying? No, it's both. It's both. It's both. There's gonna be lucky bits, but you, you gotta work hard on top of the lucky bits. I think being open to actually receive to be aware of the idea there's good fortune out there yes not as an expectation but yes with the idea that you might you know clip flowers and gather fruit if something happens right. or you come across something nice right um i don't think of it as luck mm -hmm. i think of it as slow down and notice the flowers and the berries mm -hmm. you know that in being everything should be a bit of a meditation Mm -hmm. and that people would be far more lucky if they noticed how lucky they are. Mm, maybe. Yeah. That sometimes luck is as simple as, oh, wow, that really nice person let me in. Mm -hmm. You know, that it, it's, we attach, it's like when we were talking about Martin Luther King or Flavor Flav. Mm -hmm. We attach so much that these are things beyond our control. Yeah. You know, that we put our icons on pedestals and we, we put other people down in the dirt somewhere and none of those things, we're just human. We're not like those people. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh, you know what? Those people got lucky. You know what? I, I never get lucky. Is that true? Maybe you're getting lucky all the time. Mm. This all this you know you know what this reminded me of this reminded me of our conversation about Drake because you think that you you said or at least this is what I gather from what you okay, said about I'm, Drake. I'm listening we're going on Drake you now. had said that like he was on Di he was on Disney he was right? he was on a Disney show he was on Nickelodeon Nickelodeon you yeah. always correct me yeah, I got to do it today I yeah flipped this time right. um but basically you said that because of that he may have had an easier time getting into music right absolutely right you know the right people. i would argue i would argue he still had to work very very hard for his spot though i would argue he still had even even you could the circumstances could be set up for you to actually like succeed really well but you could still f it up so if you don't work hard really what we're talking about isn't luck mm-hmm talking about the fact that you can't measure struggle yeah. you can't compare struggle yeah you can't and everybody has struggle you're right yeah 
it wasn't, yes, there were pieces of Drake's career that were easier because of where he was positioned. Right. Absolutely. Right. As a human, I can't even begin to define what his real struggles were. Right, 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 right. That even looking at someone who we think is lucky. Right. Someone who we think changed the world. Right. Someone who we think all of those things. Right. If you take away the reality... Mm -hmm. If you start labeling it with something and defining it and going, well, my struggle versus your struggle and you right. were lucky and I was unlucky and I was lucky and they were unlucky, you're measuring again. Right. Struggle's universal. Right. There's no lucky or unlucky. There's whether or not you're aware enough to go, wow, there's, I live in an amazing place. Sometimes I'm you, here. sometimes you have to take the work to open a door for yourself. And sometimes the door just opens. Sometimes somebody happened to be coming outside of that door at the exact same time as you were standing in front of it. Boom. Welcome to the to chaos. Welcome to coincidence. Well, Serendipity. But, but, okay, so here's the difference. That's what that is, right? So you walk out the door. That person that you exactly needed to meet, that was the person that was going to help you, mm -hmm. you bump into them. You get mm -hmm. irritated instead and yell at them because they spilled your coffee. Right. And you missed that. You missed that opportunity. If you met it with compassion, mm -hmm. gratitude, you spilled. Okay, I'm not never. I I'm not real good about being grateful about people spilling my coffee either. But let's go with it for a minute. There's a, there are opp that the greatest opportunities exist when our paths cross. We're all on our own path. Mm -hmm. But the greatest opportunities exist when paths cross. Mm -hmm. And I don't just mean good opportunities. I mean opportunities in the sense of something to happen. Mm -hmm. This is the moment where you're you're interacting. Yeah. Are you interacting or it's where it all exists? Well, I mean the most change happens when two people or more, more than that. It doesn't really matter. When more than one person has the same idea and also has the ability to make that idea like spread. See, I thought the most my changed head. happened if something was nineteen dollars and ninety one cents and you handed him a twenty. <laughs> isn't that isn't that the most that's how the most I, how else could you get more change? I mean like I you could ask for four quarters. You could ask for four quarters, yeah. You gotta that's ask for little, sometimes yeah. you gotta ask for change. That one flew way over my head. Yeah, you. Sometimes you gotta ask for change. That one, that one, whoosh. If you need extra change, you gotta step up. You gotta ask for it. You can only get to 99. I have no idea where you're taking this. I have no clue. Well, my head is so, no, I'm so it. confused. We were talking about change. You were talking about change. Uh -huh. I kidded you about change and how you could get the most change was only this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you wanted more change than that, what would you need to do? <laughs> Ask for more. And that's how we get change in the world, folks. Okay. Make noise, be heard. Ask for change. Okay. Don't expect change. Yeah. Okay, I could I could get If you want this. extra okay. change, I see what you're saying it now. takes a little extra effort. You may have to open your mouth. Yeah. We may have to open our mouth. We may have to make some noise. Yes. I want to find other people that want to make noise and want to be heard. Yes, that is the goal. That the reality is the more of us make noise, the more of us are heard. And it's a chorus. Most mm -hmm. of us are down here going, something's off. Something's off. Right. I was telling uh, a close friend the other day that I, you know, I, I palpatively, I can feel it constantly. Mm. The world is on edge. Everyone is anxious. Everyone. In some form or another. Go, 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 go. Mm. Worried about the power. Worried about the money. Worried about people running countries that look like Winnie the Pooh. You know, whatever it is. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Emperor Pooh Ping. As he is known. <laughs> now that we'll definitely have... CCCP after us forever. Now that's Russia. I forget what they call theirs. But the point is, it's okay to believe in luck. It doesn't matter whether or not you believe in luck. Yeah, I don't care if you believe in luck. But 
it's important to realize how you approach your day is whether or not it's my job to see the good mm -hmm. or whether you're somehow expecting it to jump out like a jack-in-a-box clown and be in your face because that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have to open yourself to the universe, Luke. Feel the force. Mm -hmm. Ross, I'm not your father. <laughs> Ross, I am not your father. Anyway. I love you all. I love Mondays, but they're a little bit kind of all over the place. That's the I love that it's a way to start the week and go, oh my God, Mondays, I hope those of you out there feel the same. Thank you. Love you all. Love everybody. Love Ross. Not us here today. Love Arnada. Love my mom. Love my kids. All of them. Any of them that are listening. Love Echo. I just love everybody. I love everybody that loves me. Oh, I just love everybody. I don't have time to figure out who loves me. Fuck it. I'm... <laughs> I try not to say that. I do. I do, I do. And with that, I bid you adieu. Matt has broken everything. <laughs> he don't even know where stuff is. He don't. He's just lost. See, this is the. Sh oh, I forgot my hat today. My bald spot. Sh I. I stopped my bald. There's a bunch of scars back there. We're still on. Can you tell? I'm still talking to you. I really haven't done anything yet. I'm gonna change this. I swear. It was a fun day though. It was a fun day. It was a fun day. We had a good day. Complete another full. Did you have to use your AK? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think I did. I the used day's my, still young. I used my ambient knowledge. The day's still young. I used young, my AK. You know? I soaked up wisdom from everywhere. The the day's young. It's only one o three. You know. The day is young. The day is young. The day is young. I didn't even <laughs> hear that part. <laughs> you know. Fuck it. I don't care.